Hi everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to personalize your Windows 10. First, you have to right click on your mouse in any part of your screen and select personalize. You will see this window pop up on your screen. And the first thing you can do is change the background. You can choose a picture. You can choose any of these pictures from the computer. As you see, it's changing the background. I'm going to put the same as before. You can also choose one from your computer. If you want, you just have to select browse and pick any image you want. You can also choose a solid color, for example, violet red. And you can also choose a slideshow. Windows will show you different images from your computer, which will change every certain period of time. In this case, you can personalize if you want to change every 30 minutes, 10 minutes, 1 minute, 1 hour, 6 hours, or by day. You can also choose shuffle if you want the, the pictures to randomly display and you can also choose how do you want to see the images. You can fit, you can stretch, you can tile, center or span. And the second item is colors. Inside colors you can choose if you want a light color, a dark color, as you see, or custom and choose how do you want to see it? I'm gonna select light. You can choose if you want transparency effects. It's slightly different, but as you see here, I like the transparency effect, so I'm gonna leave it that way. You can also choose your accent color. For example, red, as you see here at my left. You can choose any color you want. I'm gonna select automatically pick an accent color from my background. You can also customize your color and show accent color on the following surface. Tile bars and windows borders. And moving on to the next item, we have lock screen. In lock screen, you can also change the way you see your background but when windows is locked you can choose if you want to see a windows spotlight a picture or a slideshow as i said before you can also choose the apps you want to see when windows is locked and you can also choose one app to show detail status on the lock screen in my case is the calendar you can also show lock screen background picture on the sign in screen so basically they are asking us if we want to see an image when Windows starts. Selecting this button, you can choose if you want to see an image or not. Okay, moving on, let's go to themes. The interesting about themes is that you can have different themes with different sounds and different colors. For example, if you are working, you can have your work theme. And if, for example, you are playing or studying, you can have a, a studying theme or a playing theme. You just have to select it. Moving on, in fonts. Here you can download fonts and install them on your computer to work if you're a graphic designer or you just want some cool fonts to work with. You can download them from the Microsoft Store. You can download them for, from the internet. And that way you can customize the way you work, the way you study, the way you write or basically have some fonts to have fun. Moving on, we have start. Okay, so you have all these options. You can show more titles on start, show up please in start menu, show recently added apps, show most used apps. I mean, you can personalize Windows exactly the way you want. And finally, taskbar. You can lock the taskbar here. You can automatically hide the taskbar in the scope mode. I don't like this option, but 
if you want you can select on and as you see the taskbar now is hidden you can choose automatically hide the taskbar in tablet mode small taskbar buttons use pick to preview the desktop when you move your mouse to the show desktop button replace command prompt with windows powershell in the menu when i right click the start button or press windows key plus x you can choose where do you want to see your taskbar in the bottom at your right at top or at your left i'm gonna select bottom and then we have notification area you can select which icons appear turn system icons on or off and also you can choose if you want to see contacts on the taskbar or not you just have to put this on choose how many contacts you want to see and this is the contacts icon you can choose if you want to show my people notification, play a sound when my people notification arrives, and show my people app suggestions. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if this video helps you customize your windows. I wonder, are you happier now that your windows look the way you want it? Let me know in the comments. If you want to keep learning and solving problems with our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to give it a thumbs up. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.